السلام علیکم مائی نیم از نگت طاہر آئی ایم اے بیوٹیشین بائی پروفیشن اینڈ این آنٹرپینور ٹوڈے آئی ہیو ریسیوڈ این اپرچونیٹی ٹو شیئر ود یو آل اباؤٹ مائی لائف وچ ہیز سو مینی واٹ ایفس وین آئی واز بورن مائی مدر was extremely happy to have given birth to a girl, but by the time she realized that I could not respond to her voice or any other voice, she was devastated. She was devastated to know that I am deaf. She took me to multiple doctors suggested by my relatives, but all the hard work went into vain. None of them was able to fix me, like the people would say. One day, she finally accepted my deaf identity. And I believe it was then when she realized that she had to provide me with support, love, and care for me to become who I am today. My mother went to a great deal of struggle to find a deaf school for me, the same institution where I appeared for my matriculation exams and received second position all over Karachi. <laughs> At times I wonder, what if my mother would not have been able to find that institute or had the courage to send me to a deaf setup? Would I have been on the position I am today? My mother also supported me to go for extracurricular activities, painting, karate, I was actually selected to represent Pakistan in Japan for a karate competition, something that made me extremely happy to represent my country in a foreign nation. When I was in seventh grade, I loved painting. I was a great painter at that time. I then realized that there is a beauty salon right next to my school. As I was fond of painting, I thought if I could paint a person's face with beautiful colors, just like I did with my canvas. I immediately started getting trained over there, alongside my studies when I was in seventh grade. I maintained balance between both the activities in my life, and I'd be forever grateful of my sister who supported me and interpreted for me. I am deaf. How would I have been able to understand my hearing trainers? But she was the one who went with me, and I would always thank her for that. When I got done with my matriculation, I got married immediately. But thankfully, my husband and my in-laws supported me. I got motivated to start my own beauty salon at that time. I knew for that I needed supplies, I needed support. My parents and my brother lent me some money so I could start a one-room business. At first, it was difficult to put everything together. The most difficult thing that I faced was to communicate with the hearing world, my hearing customers and my hearing staff members. I never realized that it's going to be that difficult. I then decided to train my staff members in sign language so they could become my interpreter. Slowly and gradually, we connected. That helped me to connect with my customers, understand their need, and provide them with the service that they would love. They started loving my work. They started recommending me to other people. A year went by and everybody would praise my work in glory. Then once I got invited to a TV channel, there was a national beautician competition where there were artists from all over Pakistan. And I received second position in that competition. I was the only deaf person in the entire room. Everyone applauded me for getting that position, for securing second position amongst the hearing world. Everyone was shocked. I was the only deaf person in that room, and I still managed to secure that, to get that recognition. I faced a lot of difficulties to get there, 
but I never lost hope. I kept on working hard to learn new skills. I never stopped practicing or pursuing my passion. I started getting invitation from multiple TV channels. Everyone wanted to know how a deaf woman is able to run her own business. Hum TV invited me for Women's Day program on 8th of May. They wanted to know how did I reach at the position that I am today. I told them that was actually because of the woman in my life, my mother, who pushed me to go through the struggle. And I would always thank her for that. Thank her for believing in me, for never losing hope, just because I was deaf. I never knew that I'm going to receive all of this in my life. She was the one who told me that I could do this. And I am truly grateful for her support. I, when I went for my passion, I have four kids. I knew that my responsibility as a mother had to be balanced with my passion. I'm a mother and a wife, but I still managed to balance between both my lives. In the end, I want to tell every one of you that I face difficulties in life, but I still kept on working hard. You need to look at me. You need to understand. Stop defining people with disabilities by their disability. I have two running beauty salons at this moment, one in gulistan e johar one in Malir. Don't look at a deaf person or a disabled person and think that they can't get success in their life. You're looking at me. You all need to understand, please, if you have disabled family members in your life, a deaf person or any other disability, support them. Provide them with courage so that they could pursue their dreams. Look at me. My family supported me because of which I am where I am today. You need to provide that confidence to your family member. Don't ignore them. Provide them with education. Provide them with support. Provide them with opportunities. You have to be their light in their lives. You need to be their guiding force. At the end, please stop defining people with disabilities by their disabilities. They can achieve whatever they want in their lives. I struggled so much. There are so many things that I had to go through. I would look at hearing people and I would say, if they can do it, so can I. I am equally skilled, which is why I was able to receive the success that I did in my life. You need to take me as an example. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for having me here today. This is the first time I'm sharing about my life with an audience. I am thrilled and truly grateful. Thank you so much. I know that hearing people, there's so many hearing people out there in your lives and less amount of deaf people, you still need to support them and provide for them. Thank you so much at the end, guys. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for providing me with your love and with your courage. Thank you so much.